hello and welcome to my channel today's video we will be making these cute little reindeer their heads arms bodies and legs are all one piece and no sew and then you will have to sew on the muzzle the ears and the horns and the little nose i'm using a number four medium weight yarn a 4.25 millimeter hook and 14 millimeter safety eyes this is a crochet along so i will be doing every single stitch with you as well as sewing all the pieces on in real time and I am also providing a drop down at the top of the screen with the pattern instructions for the first 30 seconds of every row for you to follow along with. And if you enjoyed this video or any of my others, please hit the subscribe button. Not only does that help me out, but you will also be notified every time I load a new video. Uh, I think that's everything. So grab your yarn. And let's get started. All right, we're going to begin with the arm and you can start any way you prefer as long as you have the same amount of stitches in row one. What I like to do is I make a knot with the loop on the end as if I was going to make a chain. Insert my hook, grab my yarn, pull up, chain one. And that does not count as a stitch that just attaches our yarn to our loop and for round one we are going to do six single crochets into the loop one two three four five six grab a stitch marker if you're using one and for row two we are going to do six increases so that's two single crochets in every stitch all the way around for a total of 12. so increase one and two increase three and four increase five and six increase seven and eight increase nine and ten and our last increase eleven and twelve row three we are going to do one single crochet one increase repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. so one single crochet and an increase two and three and just repeat that around four increase five and six seven increase eight and nine ten increase eleven and twelve thirteen increase fourteen and fifteen sixteen and our last increase 17 and 18. 
four, we're going to be going in the front loop. So instead of going under both sides of the V in the loop, you're going to come down and up through and just catch that front piece of the loop. So row four in the front loop only, we are going to be doing 18 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18. And then we're going to join into that next stitch and chain one. Row five, we are going to be going in these back loops that we created um, doing the previous row. So for row five, in the back loops, we're going to do 18 single crochets. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and our last one, you may have to dig for yours, 18. So you should have a little ridge here, or if you got the bottom, your little ridge for your hoof and then now you're working your way up the foot. Row six is just going to be 18 single crochets all the way around and when you go to start remember you had that chain one right there so don't go in that stitch you want to go in the first single behind the first single crochet that you made. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Row seven, we are going to do one single crochet 
one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 12. So one single crochet and then a decrease for two. And remember, you can always do an invisible where I do a regular single crochet for three, decrease for four, five, decrease for six, seven, decrease for eight, nine, decrease for 10, 11, and our last decrease, we are only going to partially finish. So once you get your two loops on the hook, you're going to stop because we're going to make a color change now. So grab your new color and you're going to just tie that on to your old color, nice and close to your hook. Tie it about two or three times, however many you need to. And then we're going to cut our old color. And we're going to grab our new color and pull it through those three loops of the last decrease of the previous row. Row eight, we are going to do one single crochet, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of eight. So one, then a decrease for two, three, decrease for four, Five, decrease for six, seven, and our last decrease for eight. Rows nine to eighteen are just going to be eight single crochets all the way around. And I'm going to do those consecutively. So that's 10 rows. 10 times 8 is 80. So I'm going to do 80 stitches and just flip my marker every time I hit a set of 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight. Flipping my marker and keep on counting. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 25, 26, 27, 28, 
31, 32, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 49, 50, whoops, went through both sides, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, flipping my marker, keep on counting, Oop. 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, flipping my marker, but keep on counting, and this should be our last row, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, and 80. And because we want the front of our leg to be um, right here, we are just going to do four more single crochets to bring us back to this side because where we joined our bottom of our foot will be the bottom of our leg. So we want to end down here. So we're just going to do four more single crochets. One, two, three, four. And then just double check when you fold this in half with your hook on the bottom that the bottom of your foot is on the bottom of your foot. Okay, we're going to add our stuffing now. And what I like to do is take how much I think is going to do both legs, split it in half fairly evenly, and then set one to the side so that um, when we do our second one, we have about the same amount. And then I'm going to divide this into about three quarters. So the bigger part is going to go in the hoof and then the smaller part is going to go in the arm. I'm just going to take my stitch marker out and then let's get this stuffing down inside. So it might take a second. The arms are quite narrow. And once you get past that little bump, then you can usually get it in all the way. There we go. 
So you want your hoof to be stuffed firmly, but you want the bottom to be flat and you want um, the sides to kind of puff out a bit. So I kind of hold the bottom and then just push that down inside so it just kind of puffs out. So kind of like that. And then you are going to take your littler amount and just lightly stuff. I might not even use that full amount. I'm going to take that in half. You want this just to have a little bit of stuffing in it because you want these arms to bend around to the front. So I think that is enough for me. So I'm going to remember I didn't use this much when I do my second arm. So you want it to be bendy like this. Then get your hook back in and we are going to fold it and do three single crochets across the top. So we're going to go in our next stitch on the front of and then we're going to go in the back stitch on the other side. So one and then through the front and the back again, two and then through the front and the back again, three and then you're going to tie that off and give it a cut. Um, leave a little bit of yarn. We're not going to be sewing these on, but I do do something with the ends to kind of secure the arms a little better. So if you've just completed your first arm, I am going to put a screenshot over in the next frame so you can go back and do your second arm. If you are done your second arm, just hold tight for about five seconds and then we will start on the next part. All right, now we're going to start on the leg. And again, you can begin any way you prefer as long as you have the same amount of stitches in row one. I'll be making my knot with the loop on the end. Grab my yarn, pull through, and chain one. Remember that's not a stitch, that's just attaching our yarn to our loop. And for row one, we are going to do six single crochets into the loop. One, two, Three, four, five, and six. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, we are going to do six increases, so that's two single crochets in every stitch all the way around for a total of 12. So increase one and two, increase three and four, increase five and six, increase seven and eight, increase nine and ten and our last increase eleven and twelve row three we are going to be doing one single crochet one increase repeat that all the way around for a total of eighteen one increase two and three, four, increase, five and six, 
7, increase 8 and 9, 10, increase 11 and 12, 13, increase 14 and 15, 16, and our last increase, 17 and 18. Row four, we are going to be doing two single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, increase, three and four. Five, six, increase, seven and eight. Nine, ten, increase, eleven and twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, increase, fifteen and sixteen. 17, 18, increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, and our last increase, 23 and 24. Row 5, we are going to be going in the front loop, so remember we're going to go down and then up through that V and only catch that front loop of the stitch and it will be 24 single crochets all the way around in the front loops one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, whoops, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. And then we're going to slip stitch into that next stitch and chain one. Row six, we're going to be going into these back loops that we created in the previous row. And we're going to do 24 single crochets in those back loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Row seven, we are going to be doing two single crochets, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. And when you start, just remember that you do have that chain one there. So you don't wanna go in that stitch, you wanna go up here behind your first single crochet. So one, two, and a decrease for three, four, five, and a decrease for six, seven, eight, and a decrease for nine. 10, 11, and a decrease for 12, 13, 14, and a decrease for 15, 16, 17, and a decrease or 18. Row 8, we are just going to do 18 single crochets all the way around. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Row nine, we are going to do one single crochet, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 12. So one, decrease for two, three, decrease for four, five, Decrease for six, seven, decrease for eight, nine, decrease for ten, eleven, and our last decrease for twelve. And we're going to be changing color now so. Don't finish off that decrease. And we're gonna grab our next color. So let's tie that on to our old color and get it nice and close to the hook. Give it a couple of ties. It's not going around there. There we go. Nope. <laughs> there we go. And then I'm going to cut my old color off. And then take that new color and pull it through your last decrease of the previous row. 
rows 10 to 16 is just going to be 12 single crochets all the way around and I'm going to do those consecutively so that's seven rows seven times 12 is 84 and I'm just going to flip my marker every time I hit a set of 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, flipping my marker, keep on counting, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 37, 38, 48, flipping my marker, keep on counting, <clears throat> excuse me, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, <clears throat> 72, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, and 84. All right, now we're gonna add stuffing to this one. So again, I grab how much I think will do two legs, 
split it in about half and then I'm gonna take most of it and put that down into the foot so again just like the arm we want the bottom of the foot to stay kind of flat and we want to push out to the sides to make that hoof just kind of pop and bulge out kind of so I'm gonna put I think I might have not taken quite enough we'll see here so you see how that's bulging out there I have nothing in this brown part at all so I'm going to take a little bit and when I get to this side let's find where my bottom is okay so that's my bottom I want this to kind of come down to a point because when our little guy is sitting with his tummy here you don't want it to be so open when we um sew this on that he's going to want to fall backwards you want this to be nice and flat and come to a point so his little belly can kind of come up and around there so if you are happy with your stuffing you're going to fold it and just like the arm you're going to go in that first or next single crochet in the front and then that last one in the back and then you're going to do one single crochet two single crochets you're going to do an increase so three and four in the same stitch and then you're going to do five and six so you have six total single crochets across and then you're going to tie that off you don't need much of a tail just enough to kind of pull to the inside when you're attaching it so if you have just finished your first leg i will put a screenshot over in the next frame so that you can go back and do your second leg and if you are done your second leg just keep on watching and we will continue on with the next part all right we are going to start at the top of the head now and work our way down and again you can begin any way you prefer as long as you have the same amount of stitches in row one and i'll be doing my knot with the loop on the end so I'm grabbing my yarn oh squeaky chain one and remember that doesn't count as a stitch that just attaches your yarn to your loop and for row one we are going to do six single crochets into the loop so one, two, three, four, five, and six. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, we are going to do six increases. So that's two single crochets in every stitch all the way around for a total of 12. So increase one and two. Increase three and four. Increase five and six increase seven and eight increase nine and ten and our last increase eleven and twelve 
row three, we are going to do one single crochet, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. One, increase, two and three. Four, increase, five and six. Seven, increase, eight and nine. Ten, increase, eleven and twelve. Whoopies. Thirteen, increase, fourteen and fifteen. Oh my, what's going on here? Sixteen, and our last increase, seventeen and eighteen. Row four, we are going to be doing two single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around, for a total of 24. One, two, increase, three and four. Five, six, increase, seven and eight. Nine, 10, Increase, 11 and 12, 13, 14, increase, 15 and 16, 17, 18, increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, increase, 23, and 24. Row five, we are going to be doing three single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. One, two, three, and an increase, Four and five, six, seven, eight, increase, nine and ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, increase. 14 and 15, 16, 17, 18, increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, 23, increase, 24 and 25, 26, 27, 28, increase, 29 and 30. Row six, we are going to be doing four single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. One, two, three, four, and an increase, five and six. Seven, eight, nine, 10, and an increase, 11 and 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and an increase, 17 and 18, 19, 
20, 21, 22, and an increase, 23 and 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and an increase, 29 and 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and an increase, 35 and 36. Row seven is going to be five single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 42. One, two, three, four, five, and an increase, six and seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and an increase, thirteen and fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, increase, 20 and 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, increase, 27 and 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, increase, 34 and 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, and an increase, 41 and 42. Rows eight to 16 are gonna be 42 single crochets all the way around. That's nine rows, and I am going to use my row counter to keep track of those. So 42 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 
41, 42. So that was row 8. And another row of 42 single crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was row 9. And another row of 42 single crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was row 10. Another row of 42 single crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 
20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was row 11. Another row of 42 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. And that was row 12. Another row of 42 single crochets. One. Oops, sorry. There we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. That was row 13. And another row of 42 single crochets. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two. That was row fourteen. And another row of forty-two single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, and forty-two. So that was row fifteen. We have one more row to go. So one more row of forty-two single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, 
31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So there's our 16th row. Row 17, we are going to be doing five single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. One, two, three, four, five, and a decrease for six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17 and a decrease for 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and a decrease for 24. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and a decrease for 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and a decrease for 30. Six. So our next row, we are going to be doing some severe decreasing. We are going to cut our stitches in half from 36 to 18. So I am going to try doing the invisible decrease. And if you're unfamiliar with it, it is in the front loops of the next two stitches. You pull through and then you finish off your single crochet. So you'll go front loop, front loop of the next stitch, grab your yarn and pull through, and there you'll have your two loops on your hook, and then you grab your yarn and pull through again. So that's one invisible decrease. So for row 18, we are going to be doing 18 invisible decreases all the way around for a total of 18. So we have one. So remember front loops. Two. Another decrease. For three. Another decrease. For four, decrease. For five, decrease. For six, decrease. For seven, decrease. For eight, Decrease for nine. Decrease for ten. Decrease for eleven. Decrease for twelve. Decrease for thirteen. Decrease for 14. 
decrease for 15. Decrease for 16. Decrease for 17. And our last decrease for 18. Row 19, we're going to add the arms. So we are going to begin with three single crochets. One, two, three. Now grab your arm. And remembering this is the back, you want your strings facing the front. And you're going to do three single crochets through the arm and the head. So insert in your arm in the next stitch of the head and single crochet around. Then go through the arm again and through the next stitch of the head. And one more time through the arm, through the head and finish your single crochet. Now we are going to do six single crochets across the front and make sure you're going over into the next stitch because it's really easy to go in the same one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now you're going to grab your other arm and now your back is on this side and your front is on this side so you want your arm facing this way, your strings. And again, three single crochets through the arm and the body. So through the arm, through the, that, that one, yep, through the next stitch of the head. Sorry, I said body, it's head. Well, it's actually neck. Through the arm, through the head, through the arm, and through the head. And now we should have three single crochets to finish off. One, two, and three. row 20 we are going to do two single crochets an increase repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. so one two and an increase three and four five six and an increase, seven and eight. And make sure you leave these strings on the outside because that's how we'll use them later on. So that eight, nine, 10, and an increase, 11 and 12, 13, 14 and an increase 15 and 16 17 18 and an increase 19 and 20 21 22 increase 23 and 24. Row 21, we are just going to do 24 single crochets all the way around. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
8, 9, 10, whoops, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Row 22, we are going to do three single crochets, an increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. One, two, three, and an increase, four and five, six, seven, eight and an increase nine and ten eleven twelve thirteen whoops thirteen and an increase fourteen and fifteen sixteen seventeen 18 and an increase 19 and 20 21 22 23 and an increase 24 and 25 26 27 28 and an increase 29 and 30. Row 23 we're going to do four single crochets one increase repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. One, two, Oops, three, four, increase, five and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, increase, 17 and 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, increase, 23 and 24. 25, 26, 27, 28, increase, 29 and 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and an increase. 35 and 36. Rows 24 to 29 is going to be 36 single crochets all the way around. And I'm going to use my row counter for that. So 36 single crochets. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, oops, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. So that was row twenty-four. Another row of thirty-six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, Thirty-five, thirty-six. So that was row twenty-five. Another row of thirty-six single crochets. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight, 
29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. And that was row 26. And another row of 36 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So that was row 27. Another row of 36 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. And that was row 28. Another row of 36 cro single crochets, and this should be our last one. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 
24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Um, I think let's add the eyes now. So what you want to do is kind of lay your um, little guy out flat so you can find um, your centers, like kind of your sides. And you're going to count down nine rows because your eyes are going to go in between rows 9 and 10. So starting at your top loop, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So just below row 9 and above row 10. And I actually think I might be pretty centered right there. There or there. All right, Oops. and then you're going to take your eye, and I'm using 14 millimeter eyes on this one, and I'm going to go over four holes from where my pin is right there. So one, two, three, four, and I'm going into that hole, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Four holes over. One, two, three, four. And then just have a look. It's a little hard to tell um, when it's not stuffed. And you don't have the nose on and stuff. But I think I'm okay with that. Let's kind of see how they line up with your arms too. But I couldn't shape stuff like that. That would be the perfect little monkey face or something. And if you're happy with how they are, we'll put the backs on. Okay. We're going to start decreasing now. So if you need to stuff as you go, start putting your stuffing in. I will not be putting any in until I get to the last um, three or four rows. Um, but that's only because I need to squish my guy down in order to fit him in my camera view all right so for row 30 we are going to do four single crochets one decrease repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. one two three four and a decrease for five six seven eight nine and a decrease for ten eleven twelve 
13, 14, and a decrease for 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and a decrease for 20. Whoops. 21, 22, 23, 24, and a decrease for 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and a decrease for 30. Row 31, we are going to do three single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, three, and a decrease for four. Five, six, seven, decrease for eight, nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, and a decrease for 16, 17, 18, 19, and a decrease for 20, 21, 22, 23, and a decrease for 24. Okay, we're going to add the legs now. And we should all be in the right spot, but just in case we aren't, and your count is going to be different than mine, I'm just going to show you how to make sure you have your legs in the right spot. So you want to fold your little guy um, so he's centered and you want to have 12 stitches across the front. So let's just count these. I'm going to start on this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And that's close enough for me. So I'm going to stick that in there. I'm just going to mark it with a thread and then this way this will be the first stitch of your leg if we're not all in the same place. So we should have eight single crochets before we get to that little marker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's where we should be. And if for some reason you're not, you crochet up to where that little um, marker is that you put when you measured the front stitches. I'm going to take mine out now. I'm going to grab my first leg. And when you go to attach it, you want this little spot where you chained and there's a little bit of a um, misalignment. You want that to be facing you because when he, remember he's upside down so when he sits his legs are going to be like this 
and you want to be seeing the front and the sides of his legs. So when you sew it on, you want to be looking at this back bump with this little chain mark. And we're going to do six single crochets across. One through the leg. And then one through the body. And I apologize if this is hard to see. But if you did okay on the arms, you should be able to get this part. So through the leg, through the next stitch of the body, through the leg, through the next stitch of the body, through the leg, through the next stitch of the body, We got four of them, so we got two more left through the leg, through the next stitch of the body, and then the last one through the leg, and then through the next stitch of the body, and I'm just going to throw this thread in the back here so it's not in my way and it goes on the inside. So now you're going to grab your other leg. And same thing, you want that bump and that chain to be facing you so you can't see it when he's sitting. And another six single crochets through the leg and through the body. So make sure you're going in the right stitch. I know I kind of pushed the whole leg in front so you can't see it. So through the leg the next stitch of the body. That's two. Through the leg. The next stitch of the body. That's three. Through the leg. And the next stitch of the body. That's four. Through the leg. And the next stitch of the body. That's five. And our last one, number six, through the leg and the next stitch of the body. And again, I'm going to pull that thread on the inside. And then we should have four single crochets left. One, two, three, and four. And you might just want to pull those leg strings so you can make sure that the knot is on the inside so it doesn't get pulled out somehow accidentally. There we go. They're just a mess everywhere here. Right, we have three rows left, so we might as well stuff him most of the way now. So grab your stuffing. And we'll start by getting the head stuffed nice and firm. What I like to do is kind of go out to the sides a bit. Um, be careful not to stretch your stitches too much where you did all that decreasing. You don't want to see any white there if you can help it. And since he is getting horns and ears, you do want it quite firm. So that they don't flop over after you sew them on. So 
It's taking a lot of stuffing. Let's hope I'm not overstuffing you. No, you still could use a little more. All right, so I think I'm gonna stick with that. So it's pretty firm. I'm gonna put a little bit into the body. You wanna fill it, but you wanna still be able to have a flat bottom. So I'm going to stop right there because I need some space to be able to close it and then I'll add a little bit as we go. Let's see if I can bring this up a bit here. Alright, get your hook back in. Whoops. for row 33 we are going to do two single crochets one decrease repeat that all the way around for a total of 18 and i'm going to do invisible increase or decreases on these last rows whoops not yet so one two and then my invisible decrease for three, four, five, decrease for six, seven. Eight, decrease, oops, oh my goodness, get in there, I don't even know where I'm counting, I think we're nine, ten, eleven, decrease, I just can't twist, can't twist my arm that way. For 12, 13, 14, and a decrease. For 15, Sixteen, seventeen, and a decrease for eighteen. And row thirty four is going to be one single crochet, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of twelve. one and a decrease for two three and a decrease for four five and a decrease for six, seven, and a decrease for eight, nine, and a decrease for ten, eleven. And a decrease 
or 12. Well, I'm going to add a little bit of stuffing in here. And while I'm doing that, I um, took a little break after I added my legs and happened to look at my comments. And on my gingerbread man sitting one, I did mostly invisible decreases on that one. And I asked at the end there how you keep that little bump at the end from showing up. And somebody answered me, and I'm so thankful. And what they do is they stop right here. So there's actually one more row left, um, six decreases, which if you're doing the regular one, definitely do six decreases. And I am gonna try closing it here at 12 and see how it looks. So if you notice, I'm kind of stuffing a bit to the back, which gives it a little bit more stability when he's going to be sitting. So I think I'm going to leave him like that. He'll sit. So if you're doing regular decreases, I'll put right up here the next row. If you did the invisible and want to try closing right now, that's what I'm going to do. Or you can do, um, I've been doing about five decreases and then closing when I was doing the head up here to close. Okay, so, oh yeah, so then I need to slip stitch and tie off. If you're not sure, leave yourself enough yarn that you can take this out and do your six decreases. So when I have stitches that I don't, um, that I'm not sure if I'm going to need a tail for or not, I consider a single crochet and a um, increase or decrease about two of my fingers. So I'll just wrap around six times for the six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then if you cut it there with some tail, you'll have more than enough to finish off the last round if you need to. All right, so I'm gonna take that out. Grab my darning needle. been so busy looking in the camera I haven't even really looked at this guy and I think he's gonna turn out super cute okay so we're gonna weave in and out now so I'm not used to having this many stitches so 12 ish times I'm going th I wonder do you still go through the top loops or you need to go through both I feel like I might have too much stuffing to not make holes here, but I really value any tips and advice, so I'm going for it. Oopsie. Um, if you were doing this in the plush yarn, I would only go about halfway, leave a little loop, and then do the rest. So you don't have to pull through all 12, 12 stitches. What the heck did I do there? There we go. All right, pulling to close. Let's see. And I think that looks pretty darn good. So thank you for that tip. I will use that in the future. And then we're just going to tie that off. Give it a good knot. And then pull it up through and out somewhere. There 
and then give it a trim. So we've got our main body done. Let's put in the arms while we're at this stage. So we'll thread one on. And you're going to put that down and in right where your last stitch joining the arm to the head is. So right down in there. And then out the back somewhere kind of in the center around the neckline. Then you're going to take your other side and do the same thing. So I like to double check that I'm in the same row because in the round sometimes it does mess up. And I am. So down in there where my last arm stitch was joining. And come back where your other thread came out in the same hole. And then you're going to tie those once, keeping track of your ends so they don't crisscross any more than one time. And I do that by wrapping it around the neck, turning it around. And then when you're at this stage, you're just going to give them a pull and it should pop in those knots and bring your arms forward a little bit. So just decide how much forward you want them, remembering they will relax a little bit. Give it a tie to secure it, and then you'll hide those ends back in. Up. Well, I'm doing one at a time. I've been doing pretty good with my threading in the eye. Okay, so then you're just going to tuck those threads out somewhere. Give them a cut. We test him out, see how he sits, and we will move on to the next part. All right, we are going to do the muzzle now, and we're going to make a chain. So you are going to have to make your knot with the loop on the end. Just big enough to get your hook in. And we're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, it's starting in the second chain from the hook, so not the one on your hook, not this first one, but this second one right here. You're going to do five single crochets across. One, two, three, four, Five, and that'll bring you to your last chain and you're going to do three single crochets turning as you go so you end up on the other side. One, two in the same stitch. Get turning that around a bit and then three in the other side. Third one. Now you're going to do four single crochets across. One, two, three, 
four. And then in this last stitch right here, you are going to do two single crochets. One, two, and then that is the end of your first round. Now grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, we're going to start with an increase in this first stitch right here. So increase one and two. Then we're going to do four single crochets across. One, two, three, and four. Now we're going to do three increases going around this side. So increase. And then an increase in the next stitch. And then increase one last time in the next stitch. And now we are going back across and we're going to have four single crochets. One, two, three, four. And now we're going to do two increases. So one and two in the next stitch. And then two in the last stitch. So it should be looking like this. And now rows four to six, we are just going to do 20 single crochets all the way around. And I'm going to do those consecutively three times. 20 is 60. And I'm just going to flip my marker when I hit a set of 20. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Flipping my marker, but I'm going to keep on counting. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 
47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60. And I'm going to take my stitch marker out and then just slip stitch in that next stitch. And leave enough of a tail to sew all of this on to the head. Alright, now let's do the ear. And this time you can start any way you want. As long as our row one is the same. And I again will be doing my knot with the loop on the end. Grab my yarn. Chain one. Remember that is not a stitch. That just attaches our yarn to the loop. And for row one, we are going to do six single crochets into the loop. One, two, three, four, five, six. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, we are going to do one single crochet, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of nine. So one increase, two and three. And let it kind of curl away from you so you're getting a point at this end. Push it with your finger if you need to. Four. Increase. Five and six. Seven. Increase. Eight and nine. row three we're going to be doing two single crochets one increase repeat that all the way around for a total of 12. one two increase three and four five Six increase seven and eight. Why is my okay? <laughs> um, nine, ten increase eleven and twelve. Why do I? I'm having such a hard time grabbing my yarn here. Row four, we're going to do three single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 15. One, two, three, increase, four and five, six, Seven, eight, increase, nine and ten. 
11, 12, 13, increase, 14, and 15. Rows 5 and 6 are 15 single crochets all the way around. And I'm going to do those consecutively. 2 times 15 is 30. So I'm going to do 30 stitches and flip my marker when I hit my first set of 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, flipping my marker, but I'm going to keep on counting. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Row 7 is going to be 3 single crochets, 1 decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 12. 1, 2, 3, decrease for four, five, six, seven, decrease for eight, nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease or 12. Row 8, we're going to do two single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 9. 1, 2, and a decrease for 3, 4, 5, and a decrease for six, seven, eight, and a decrease for nine. All right, this part is going to be a little, I wouldn't say tricky, but you want to make sure you get it through all your stitches. We want to make our ear like this curved, and we're going to have two. Um, single crochets through here, but you want to make sure you get through all the layers. I'm going to take my stitch marker out. We're going to fold it in half, and you're going to go through your same stitch, your last stitch, and then you want to do the same thing over on this side. So one of the very end stitches, and you want to go through both the front and the back. So you're kind of like this. You're going to make one single crochet through all of that. And now you need to do the same thing, but you need to make sure you're getting through all four layers. So in the end, you're going to go through two layers, hopefully through two more layers and then finish that other single crochet. And then tie off, leaving enough um, of a tail to 
um, sew those on. I hope I got through that back side. If you didn't, um, when you sew them on, you can kind of catch some of those stitches as well. So, if you've just finished your first ear, I will be putting a screenshot in the next frame with a timestamp so you can go back and do your second ear. And if you're done your second ear, just keep on watching and we will continue on with the next part. All right, now we'll make the antlers. And again, you can start any way you prefer, as long as your row one is the same. I'm gonna make my knot with the loop on the end. Oops, I made that a little big. Insert my hook, grab my yarn, chain one. Remembering that does not count as a stitch, that just attaches your yarn to your loop and row one we are going to do six single crochets into the loop one two three four five six Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And row two, we're gonna do two single crochets, one increase, repeat that around for a total of eight. One, two, three, and an increase three and four, five, six, and an increase, seven and eight. Rows three to five are going to be eight single crochets all the way around and I'm going to do those consecutively uh, it's three rows and three times eight is 24 and then I'm just going to flip my marker when I hit a set of eight so one two three four five, six, seven, eight, flipping my marker, but I'm going to keep on counting, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, Whoopsie. 13, 14, 15, 16. Flip it, flipping my marker, but keep on counting. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And that is the little um, piece that sticks out on the side. So we are going to slip stitch and tie off. Okay. 
leaving no let's see leaving a little bit of a tail because when we join it to the other piece of the antler there's going to be a little bit of a hole left behind Okay, now we'll start on the other part of the antler. So again, you can begin any way you want, as long as row one is the same. And I'll be doing my chain one here. Remember that doesn't count as a stitch, that just attaches your yarn to your loop. And for row one, six single crochets into the loop. One, two, three, four, five, six. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, we're going to be doing two single crochets, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of eight. So one, two, increase. three and four, five, six, increase, seven and eight. Rows three to eight are going to be eight single crochets all the way around and that is six rows and six times eight is 48. So I'm going to go to 48 and then flip my marker every time I hit a set of eight. One, two, three, four, Five, six, whoop, seven, eight, flipping my marker, keep on counting, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, Flip, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 
40. Our last row here. 41. 42. 43. 44. 45. 46. 47. 48. Now we are going to join our two pieces. So for row nine, we're going to be putting eight single crochets around this side and eight single crochets around this side. So let's take that out. And you're going to go just under your knot where you tied off. And you're going to do one single crochet and then continue around eight more so your next one is two three four five six seven, and eight. And don't worry about what it looks like you have left for stitches. You're going to fix that later by sewing up the hole in between. Now you're going to go to the other side and find your last stitch. So it's right there. Kind of looks sideways a bit. And you're going to go into the next stitch and start your second set of eight single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So just a reminder Usually I sew this on the inside, but I, you want your string out where it's visible because we're going to sew it on the outside this time. Okay, row, let's, where's my stitch marker here? Come out this way. Row 10. We're going to have 16 single crochets all the way around. And if for some reason you've missed a stitch and you don't have 16 when you get back to the end, just do an increase or a decrease to make it count for 16. So one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, and 16. And that brings us right around. Adjust your stitch here if you need to, um, because your count will be off after this if you don't have 16 all the way around. And we're going to add a little bit of stuffing in here because these are a bit tricky to stuff if you go right to the end and stuff them. So grab a little bit of stuffing. You don't need too much. You want them firm enough that they stand up though. You should be able to just stuff them with your finger. And if I forget to mention it as we go, make sure you stuff as you're going. 
Although once you have these two in, it's not quite as bad stuffing the, the bottom half. So about like that. Put your hook back in there. Row 11, we're going to do eight decreases. Now I just did regular decreases on this one, but you can do invisible if you want. So one decrease, two decreases, three decreases, four decreases, five decreases, six decreases, seven decreases, and eight decreases. And rows 12 to 17, we are just going to do eight single crochets all the way around. Again, that's six rows. So I'm going to do those consecutively. So it'll be 48 single crochets, flipping my marker every time I hit a set of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Flip your marker, keep on counting. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, flip your marker, keep on counting, Oops. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, flip your marker, keep on counting, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, flipping the marker, keep on counting, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. This will be our last row here. Forty one, forty two, forty three, forty four, forty five, forty six. 
47, 48. And then you're just going to slip stitch into the next stitch. Tie that off, leaving enough of a tail to sew that around. And keep in mind, um, you may have to go around your horn twice, so make sure you have enough of a tail for that. Only went around once, but if it's not stuffed quite right, you may need it to keep it from flopping. Okay, let's sew up the little hole in the horn. So you want to grab your darning needle. And you're just going to weave back and forth. I start under and go out. Just so that knot goes in. Over to the other side. And you just need a couple of times just so there's no hole there. I see I want to have a little bit here maybe. Under, under, and under. Yours might be a little bit different than mine. Just as long as you get that nice and tight. So when you push your stuffing in there, it doesn't show a hole. And then I'm just going to tie a knot. And then put that down inside. And I did forget to stuff as we went, but at least it's just the bottom half. Then you're going to cut that. Or I guess we could have stuffed it inside. And then just stuff the rest of this so it's nice and firm and will stand up. I'm putting a little bit into one side if there's room and then I'm going to put a little bit in oh maybe I should do that there put a little bit of that over there yeah so just little bits at a time because you don't want to um, stretch these stitches especially if you're using a dark color here yet. Oh, not that much more. And you want it to come right down to the bottom because this is where your stability will be right here when you attach it. So if you have no stuffing on the bottom, your antler is not going to stand up as nice as it would otherwise. So I'm just pushing it in a little bit too much and then I'm going to be able to push it down when I, after I sew it on. Okay, so if you've just finished your first horn, um, there will be a screenshot in the next frame so that you can go back and do your second horn. And if you have finished your second horn, just whoops, keep on watching and we will continue on to the next part. Now I'm going to be doing the nose in red and remember you can start any way you prefer as long as you have the same amount of stitches in row one. I'll be doing my knot with the loop on the end. Insert my hook, grab my yarn and chain one. Remembering that does not count as a stitch, that just attaches your yarn to your loop. And for row one, we are going to do eight single crochets into the loop. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight. And then if you have a hole, pull your tail closed. And I'll just grab a quick stitch marker just so you can see it. And for row two, we're just going to do eight single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is where I'm gonna tie off and slip stitch. If you wanna make it a little bit more um, of a bump, you can do another row of eight single crochets. And then cut that off with enough of a tail to sew on. All right, we are gonna do the muzzle now. So we want to put a little bit of stuffing in there, enough to fill it, but not so much that it's going to come out the sides when we're sewing it on. And then just position it however you like it. I'm putting the top along the bottom line with the eyes here. Just kind of make sure it's even where the sides come out. And then you're going to start pinning it. So I start by going somewhere around the center on the top. Wherever it falls naturally on the bottom, making sure that this line is straight. Then I'm going to go on the side and pull it to where I want it. So I'm just kind of just inside the eye a bit here. And then I want to match that up on the other side. Have a look. Make sure you're happy with that. And then just start pinning more around the sides. So I go in between that pin and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side in between the two black pins. Make sure I have it even. Again I'm going to go in between the black pins. You may have to pull some of it out a bit and just keep watching that it is where you want it. I'm even going to put even more pins in because I do not want it to move when I'm sewing it down. One quick check to make sure you are happy with where it's sitting. So I feel like this one needs to come down a bit. And you're going to thread your needle. And now that um, if you're using two different colors, you're going to want to make sure you're staying underneath um, the muzzle as you're going around. So I'm going under the knot, underneath the stitches, around a row, and then out. Kind of 
trying to pull that so that knot goes in. And then I'm going to go up the next stitch. And then I'm going to go down the next stitch. Around a row. Kind of remember what you did on this corner because when you get to the other eye, you're going to want to match it. Oh, I see these arms, I keep going around. And you're going to go up the next stitch. And if you see, you can't really see my stitches around there because I'm staying underneath. And now when we're at the top, we want to go around stitches. And kind of stay in that line of that row. And go up the next stitch. Down the next stitch. Careful you're not moving your mouth check or your muzzle. Check every once in a while. And now you're getting to that corner. I want that down just a little bit. Hmm. Just catch a little bit of the stitches down there. And then you're going to go up the next stitch. Down. I'm just going to keep doing that all the way around. I think I maybe should have had this up a little higher. Up the next stitch. Always keep an eye that it's not moving around on you and that you're matching the sides. And staying underneath of the piece you're sewing on. So now I'm going to try and stay in this same row as I go around the bottom, up and down. These darn legs almost need to tie them together. Oops, make sure you get around the stitch. Close to the beginning where we started. Oops, which stitch am I in? Yeah, this one. If you need to add a little more stuffing, do it before you close this last bit of the muzzle. And I'm going past one stitch where I started. And then I'm going to go back down and the other way. Somewhere so I can tie my knot. I'm just going to try and grab a stitch underneath. I think I'm going to grab this one. Oops. 
So again, it will all be underneath so you can't see it. Tie that off. And bring it down inside and out the back. Make sure you pull that knot in. And then give it a cut. And now we'll do the horns. And what you want to do is use your original loop as your guide and where your arms fall for your sides. So I'm going to go... How did I end up at the top there? Oh, there we go. So I'm putting my little side on the inside and my big side on the outside. Get that stuffing out of the way. And you're going to go right around that second row and then start pinning. Make sure you're even with the arms. If you can see that, I hope. So right kind of in the center, but one row down. And then start pinning. So I'm going to do the inside and the outside. And then I'm going to do the front. And then I'm going to do the back. Double check that you are happy with where it is. That your horns are the right way. And if you are, start putting a couple more pins in. Just to secure it as you're going around so it doesn't move. And you're going to thread your needle. Where did I put it? Over here. And you're going to do the same thing as when you did the muzzle. You're going to go down and around your um, stitches or rows, staying underneath the bottom of the horn. So I'm going to go up in my next stitch. Actually, I might grab this one just because... I'm not sure what's happening there. Down in the next stitch and around a row. Up the next stitch. Down the next stitch. Make sure if you're close to the top that you are getting up between the first and the second row right there. Up the next stitch. Down the next stitch. Up the next stitch. Down the next stitch. in my way. And we must
must be getting close to where we started. So I'm going to go down. Yeah, I think my knot's right around there. So I'm going to go down in the next stitch and past it. Then I'm going to go back up and backwards so I can tie it underneath. So somewhere on the bottom here, I'm going to come out and tie it right there, I think. So then you're going to go underneath, try and find a stitch. So I'm going to grab this one. Give it a tie. And even though you don't need to, I'm going to put it in and out the back and tie it when I have my other horn on. Tie them together like when I did the arms. Make sure you pull that knot in if it's there. So now you've got your one horn on. Grab your other horn. And now your placement has, to, well, has to, but should match up with your placement on this side. So for me, this is the trickiest part. So I'm lined up with that first round and I'm also lined up with the arms. And I'm going to start pinning again. So I want that first one to be pinned between row one and two there. And then just kind of come around. Sometimes these aren't even. So let's see. So I want my horn to be right around that same row on the other side. Just double check. You can kind of use the eyes a bit to see if that's where you want it. And if you're happy, start pinning around the sides. Make sure none of that stuffing is showing. Move it around if you need to. You can always change it if it's pinned, but once you sew it on, you do not want to have to take it off and redo it. Okay, if you are happy with how it's looking, then you're going to do your other side. So just like before, down and underneath. That way you won't see your stitches. Then up in the next stitch. Then down your next stitch around the rows. Keep a little bit of an eye, whether you're moving your horn and they're staying even. Up the next stitch. Down the next stitch, and I'm bringing mine up a little bit so that I'm in that 
hole between the first and the second row. Um, let's see, up the stitch. Down the next stitch. Oh, something. Oh, that pin probably. Now I got a mess there. There we go. Up the next stitch. Down the next stitch. And then we're getting back around to where we started. So I'm going to come up this stitch. Past it, one stitch, and backwards. And I see I got one stitch there that I can see. So I probably should have pulled a little harder when I was first starting. And then you're just going to find a stitch underneath. Hmm. There's one, I think. There we go. Tie your knot. Hide it under and inside and then come out where your other string was. Just double checking, not that you can change it much now. <laughs> and then you're just going to tie those. And take them out somewhere. A trim. I push this one a bit out of the way, so there we go. Now we're going to do the ears. And this is be a little bit of a personal preference. I like to just put them right against the horns. Even with the arms, like we did the horns. I don't know if we need to pin these, but let's just put a little temporary pin down in there. Actually, a darning needle might work better right here. your needle and since there's only two stitches what I'm going to be doing is going around a row in a stitch around a row in a stitch and then I'm probably going to come back one so my thread is on the back side so I'm going to go around the row that I have the horn attached into
up into that second, that first stitch, I mean. Whoops. Maybe I should have had that there, I don't know. So then I'm going to come around that row again and come into the second stitch. I feel like I'm doing this backwards, but this is how it's working out. So I've got both stitches in there once. I'm going to come around the front again. And then I'm going to come out around that row kind of in the middle of the ear. And then I'm just going to come out the back somewhere, through the ear and out the back. And I am going to tie it there. If you want, you can add a few stitches to um, keep that ear wh where it is. This one I did, so it's not quite... Oh, I thought I did. Oh, maybe I didn't. Never mind. I thought I went up and down a few times, but I think maybe I did that and then took it out. So I do remember doing that. So we're going to tie down in here somewhere. And we just took a little piece of the ear. Oh, sorry, I can barely reach this far. And then tie that knot. And then you're gonna bring that down and out the back again, just like we did the horns. And we'll do the other side. So the string will be in the back, like the other one. We're going to be going down that one row where our antler is. I'm going to still pin it, but I don't know if it's necessary. No, it's not doing nothing. Forget it. Um, thread your needle. Place your ear where you want it. So it's again just between the antler and the arm. And you're going to go around the one row. I'm kind of doing this backwards. <laughs> and then up that first stitch. And you don't have to do it this way. I'm just trying to do it the easiest way I can think of. I think I'm going backwards of the way I went last time. So I'm going around the row under the antler and into the first stitch of the ear. Just double check they're in the same place. I think so. And then I'm going to go around there again, up through the middle of the ear, oops, I'm not really watching the camera. And then what did I do? Come back. I guess I could go this way. And then again, just catch one of those last pieces of the ear, and I'm going to tie my knot. Then bring that back down inside and out to match your other thread. Oh. 
Now, if you want, you can tie this one time and do the same thing as we did with the arms. Give them a little bit of a, a tug. Um, I'm not going to do mine much because it's kind of bringing my antlers apart. So if you're happy with how it looks, then you'll just tie them in the back. And then thread your needle and get rid of these ends. Whoop. You do get a little hole like that just kind of use your needle to close it up again cut your ends oh i can't even reach that okay and then so there we've got his nose left to do Okay, so now we're going to sew on the nose, and I just kind of pin it on the top kind of corner of the, so if this is where you started doing your um, repeat rows, just kind of over that. Mine is kind of lining up with my chain rows. Of course, you play around, put it wherever you want. I'm gonna put that one in the middle. And just like before, you're gonna to wanna to pin it to hold it in place. So I just pin top, bottom, and then on the sides. Making sure it's even. If you're happy with it, maybe you want to add a couple more pins. I don't know if these are doing anything, but they're in there. And grab your darning needle. And same as the muzzle and the horns, you're going to want to make sure you're putting your stitches on underneath the nose. So I'm going to go down and come out. Go up that next stitch. Go in the next stitch and just kind of catch a piece underneath and come out. I don't want to move it, so I'm going to be very careful where I come up here. Go up your next stitch. Oops, I'm only through one loop there. Make sure you're getting through both of the loops. I got it facing a funny way for me. And you're gonna go down your next stitch and round. Up your next stitch, 
know which one. Yep. Make sure you're pulling that so it's staying nice and tight. Down your next stitch and around. And like always, keep on checking that it's staying in the center where you want it. And I am right where I started, so I'm going to go one past. Take these out now. I'm going to come up and then you're going to go down and around somewhere so you can tie that off. I'm just going to try and find a stitch underneath if I can. There's one right there. And then get that nice and tight underneath. And then just put it out somewhere. You're not going to see it. that off. Check how you did. All right, now I don't know if you need to do this, but on my other one, I decided to bring the eyes in a little bit. So they were like this. So I'm just going to show you how I did that. So thread your needle. And there's two ways I've been doing this. One way I'm going in these two stitches on either side of the eye. And then the other way I'm going around the eye so I'm grabbing the post. So I'm going to do it around the eye on this one. So I'm going to start in the center. That's where I'm going to tie. And I come out under the eye if I can. Leave some thread for sewing. And then I wrap it around the eye and try and push it down under. So if your eyes are super, super tight, you're going to have to go in the two stitches on either side of the eye. But if your eyes aren't quite as tight to, the, to your project, then you can do it this way. And then I'm going to go back down underneath the eye if I can. And then do the exact same thing on the other side. Kind of come under the eye and out. Around the eye and under the eye. And then back in and out where you started. To me, I feel like this way, you're not pulling these stitches as much. But I mean, there are going to be times where you can't get it under the eye. And then I'm just going to pull that till I get them coming kind of close together, wherever I want them. So just about like that, I guess. Maybe they're a little close. They might relax a bit, bit over time. I think I'm going to leave them there. And you'll tie that nice and secure and then put it out the back. Oh, he's looking pretty cute. I wasn't sure about doing the white muzzle on this one. Whoop. 
Oops. Come on. Oh my goodness. And then out that same stitch, no, the back. And you may have to fix this little hole in the front if you have it. Just kind of manipulate those stitches so they're back tight together. And you're gonna cut that. Now, while I was making this video, somebody asked me if I would make a reindeer with lights. So I just kind of quickly whipped up something. It's not the best, but I will show you what I did. Um, the reason they're like this and not a better job is I didn't think I could get a 3D light small enough. So they're gonna look like this. They're just flat little lights stitched onto a chain. So I'll show you the lights. I might as well do a red one because I have that right beside me. So you're gonna make your knot with the loop on the end because we're gonna start with a chain. And we're gonna chain four. Does that seem blurry or is that just my eyeballs? So one, two, three, four, and then in that second chain from the hook, we're going to do a single crochet, then we're going to do a half double crochet, so yarn over into the next stitch, grab your yarn, pull up, grab your yarn again, and pull through all three loops. And then we're just going to do a single crochet in the end and tie off. So I've just got kind of little pointy um, shapes. And then I tied mine. And then you're gonna to wanna to weave these ends in. Um, hmm, where is it? So grab your darning needle. I'm gonna just put both of mine in at the same time and I'm just gonna bring them down into the um, light bulb one time. So decide what your back's going to be and then I just weaved mine around and I know this is not a good job. You can do whatever you want on yours. This was more of a test than an actual um, maybe good job. And then I cut them. You can weave them in a few more times if you want. grab whatever color I want the string to be. Um, I think you could actually, it might look nicer just if you had the string and thread it through and tied them in interval intervals around. But what I did was I made a chain. So I left a bit of a tail. And I put mine every 10 chains 
which didn't leave me a lot of space for adding for wrapping the lights so feel free to go uh, maybe every 15 you might just have to play with it a bit so we're going to chain nine so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine and then i just um insert it into my light um with no sorry with no like rhyme or reason as to what i was doing or how they went in and then i just single crochet so it's just kind of hanging like that and then i would chain another nine one two three four five six seven eight nine and then add my next light right there okay i think i'm going to leave you with that you can finish that on your own and i will put i'll just hold him here for a second so that you can see um how i wrap the lights so i actually after lots of tries started with the middle and i wrapped around the insides first so this is actually the middle of my lights and then i wrapped around and wrapped around and wrapped around um from each side doing it the same and i think i had to tuck yeah i had to tuck this down under um all right thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please hit the subscribe button not only does that help me out but you will also be notified every time i load a new video and as always take care be safe and happy crocheting